Whitney from Fairway is in. You know, I got corrected. It's not pumpkin spice latte. It's PSL. That's right. It's what all the cool kids <laughs> it say. It is, it is. Uh, I'm not a big pumpkin fan, so I'm interested mm -hmm. to see what you have today to pitch. Uh, Tis the season, and you can do more things than just carve these uh, tasty yeah. dishes. You can eat them in a nutritious way. Yeah, so if I can't sell you on the taste, which I think is what a lot of people like, I'm hoping maybe I can sell you on the health benefits. So if you get pure canned pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, um, it actually has a ton of health benefits. There is no added sugar in there. So something like the pumpkin spice latte, lots of added sugar. That's why it is nice to make some of these things at home so you get the flavor without all the sugar and calories. So the main one being uh, beta carotene, which you can tell because it's a bright orange color. Mm -hmm. And then that converts to vitamin A in our bodies, with, which helps mainly with our eyesight, especially in dim light or mm -hmm. things like night blindness. And as a bonus, it also is really good for your skin. Um, Anti-aging kind of help, helping with that youthful glow in your skin. So By that, eating it, not just, you don't rub it on correct, your skin. Okay. Correct, eating it from the inside out. Okay. So if that's something you're looking for, <laughs> sure. eat that fresh pumpkin. It also is rich in potassium, which helps counteract a high sodium diet. And here in America, we are eating about twice as much sodium as we should be. Yeah. Um, so a good thing to throw in some potassium, and it's also a powerful electrolyte that we lose when we sweat. So energy, excellent. Ho hopefully, I've sold you on the health benefits. Now, I'd say so. So far, so good. <laughs> now the taste. Something really easy you can make with pumpkin is pumpkin pancakes. Okay. So I do have a recipe where you can make an entire buttermilk pancake from scratch. I do think the buttermilk is key to a nice fluffy pancake, like when yeah. you get in a restaurant. However, if you don't want to put that much work in. You can go ahead and add just a half a cup or so to any pancake mix. I like the Kodiak cake mix because you get whole grains, fiber, yeah. protein all in one. So you could throw some, some pumpkin in there like I said. If you make your own pancakes though, they freeze really, really well. I just put a piece of parchment paper between each pancake. That way, if I only want one or two pancakes, they're not all stuck together in the freezer. So if you put all the work in, Make a double batch and throw them in the freezer. I noticed your accoutrement, your little cinnamon on there with the whipped cream. I do. A cinnamon looks really nice here. And these aren't overly sweet. So I will say you probably are going to need some kind of syrup, whipped cream, a little sweetness on the top of there just because they're not overly sweet pancakes. Very good. Good for humans. By the way, pumpkin's also good for those of you that raise chickens. I was reading up. It's good for chickens too. Good to Natural know. Natural dewormer. So really? good for everybody, whether you're on the farm or in town, head over to Fairway if you need some tips on recipes. Yes. The good folks like Whitney are sitting there ready to help you out. It's what they do day in and day out. Thank you very Thank much. You. I think we'll give it a try at home. Thank you.